Hello children. Hope you all are fit and fine uh, along with your family members. Yes children. Today we are going to start with our political science. We have already learned lesson number 1 of geography, India's lands, size and location. Okay. Today we shall be learning lesson number 2 of political science which is what is democracy and why democracy. And as you know children, we have already come across the word democracy. democracy you might have learned in our previous classes that the meaning of the word democracy democracy means a form of government where people elect their leaders students we have already learned about different forms of government like monarchical form of government military rule dictatorship community form of government and many more india had also been ruled by different kings which is called monarchical rule In our previous class, we have learnt about the kings that how we were being ruled by different kings, Mughal kings, and at the last, how we were being ch cheated by the Britishers. Yes, we were also under British colonial rule, and after long struggles under United India, we achieved independence and formed a democratic form of government. We know, children, how governments in countries change from one form to the other. today democracy has expanded during the last 100 years to more and more countries in the world more than half of the independent countries in the world today are democracies the expansion of democracies has not been smooth and straight it has been several up and downs in different countries it still remain an unstable and uncertain achievement through this lesson we will understand the meaning of democracy minimum features of a democratic form of government we'll be able to distinguish between a democratic form of government as well as non democratic form of government we'll also learn minimal objective and broader idea of democracy let's start with a simple definition of a democracy children democracy it's a form of government in which the rulers are elected by the people yes this definition has four components in it rulers election people form of government yes children who are the rulers who become our rulers rulers from among the citizens of the country only we only elect these rulers okay now election election what means means election is a process when people select their leaders and it, it is a uh, means which which is conducted in our country then people who are the people children people we we are the people we have already learned who are, who is able to vote children the people those who are above 18 years they are able to vote these are the people and the people those who reside in a country the country citizens they are called as people and form of government means democracy it's a form of government okay means form of government which is ruled by the people elected representatives now let's start with the features of democracy we'll understand there are four features of democracy and we'll learn each features through different examples okay with through different examples let let me first start with the uh, just reading out the features okay and then by different examples i'll be explaining each features okay let me read out in a democracy the final decision making power must rest with those elected by the people yes second feature a democracy must be based on a free and fair elections where those currently in power have a fair chance of losing in a democracy each adult citizens must have one vote and each vote must have one value a democratic government rules within limits set by constitutional law and citizens right now you might not be you might not have understood it well children i'll be and through examples we'll be learning each features okay let us start with the example of pakistan okay pakistan Uh, it's a case uh, of October 1999. In October 1999, General Parvez Musharraf he led a military coup and entered in Pakistan. He overthrew the democratically elected government. And what happened, children? He declared overthrew the after uh, overthrowing the democratic elected government over there. He declared himself as the chief executive of the country. And later on, he changed his designation to president. And now what happened, children? In 2002, he held a referendum in the country that granted him a five years extension. Now you might well not be knowing the meaning of the word referendum. 
referendum means it's a pr proposal taken by the people in the form of yes or no yes children no need to go for yes in either in a yes yes form or in a no form people can say either yes or no that is a proposal taken a vote taking type of process okay then pakistani media okay because of this referendum what happened uh, people had a yes uh, people gave a yes proposal to him with which what happened he got the 5 years extension okay now pakistani media human right organization democracy activists said the referendum was based on mal practices and fraud now there are three groups children those who opposed it who were they pakistani media human right organization and democracy activists they said this referendum was based on mal practices and fraud in august 2002 now his time period started from 1999 now it's 2002 children he what did he do he issued a legal framework order that amended the constitution of pakistan yes children you might not have forgotten the meaning of constitution yes what is constitution it is set of rules yes which is found in a written document now they what happened in august 2002 he made such orders which amended the constitution of pakistan now according to this order what all changes he made let us read out children the president can dismiss the national or provincial assemblies the work of the civilian cabinet is supervised by a national security council which is dominated by military officers and after passing this law elections were held now two laws were been framed children uh, according to that he can make a change he made a change in the constitution according to which he can dismiss the national or provincial assemblies and the civilian cabinet uh, is there but it will be supervised by the national security council which is dominated by military officers now after passing this law elections were held the national and state assembly elected representative had some powers they got elected by the people but they had only some powers but the final powers rest with the military officers and general musharraf himself they cannot take the final decisions who bacho the elected representatives who got elected by the people they had some powers but the main powers were with the hands of military and musharraf himself the power to take decisions rest with the army officials now with the example of pakistan we learn children the power was with the hands of general musharraf and not with the hands of uh, the people those who got elected by the people the leaders those who got elected by the people they had some powers but the main powers were with the hands of general musharraf so with this example of pakistan we learn children the real powers were not with the elected representatives which cannot be called people's rule which gave us the first feature of democracy through with through the example of this pakistan we have uh, uh, discovered the first feature of this, uh, democracy the uh, our first feature of democracy is in a democracy the final decision making power must rest with those who got elected by the people yes children the final decision uh, who takes in our country the final decision is taken by our prime minister uh, mr narendra modi he can take the final decision but with the consultation made by his cabinet the state ministers chief ministers and all okay but the final decision is taken by him now let us start with the now let us learn another another case a case of china in china elections are regularly held after every 5 years for country's parliament called guangdo renmin daibyo the hui which means national people's congress means uh, elections are held this shows it's a democratic country yes and in our country also the uh, elections take place but after every 5 years this only shows this only proves it's a de democracy so likewise we can say just now yes it's a democratic country now let us uh, learn learn further the national people's congress has the power to appoint the president of the country yes children like as we have prime ministers in our country the real power stays with the hands of prime minister so likewise here the president of the country is been children uh, chosen in uh, other countries president who is a whole soul means he only he only has a real powers so likewise to so here uh, we'll read about 
the president okay the national people congress has the power to appoint the president of the country now it has nearly 3000 members elected from all over china means this uh, parliament has nearly 3000 members okay and now they only choose the president of the country and now this parliament has 3000 members and we, who are all from over china this also shows the these two points also says that yes it's a democratic country now some members are elected by the army can it be called a democracy children some members uh, are elected by the army before contesting elections a candidate needs the approval of the chinese communist party or eight other parties allied to it uh, they only were allowed to contest elections so again and another uh, condition is there children to be uh, to stand for elections there are conditions uh, firstly they have to get the approval of the chinese community party or they should be either the member of chinese communist party or eight other parties which are allowed uh, allied with it so this all uh, this shows that there is non democracy can it be called a democratic uh, democratic practice children no the government is always formed by the communist party so this also shows like like if it is a democratic government children there are different parties and every party they keep the parties they keep on changing and with fair elections uh, with the people's voices only one uh, one can form a government now let us start and uh, let us learn about a different case in mexico about mexico mexico holds elections after every 6 years to elect its president yes children this also proves that it is a democratic country after every 6 years they also conduct elections to choose their president the country has never been under a military or dictator's rule this also shows us uh, it's a democracy it there there was never they, they were never been under a rule of military or dictator's rule but until 2000 every election was won by a party called pri but children uh, until 2000 till 2000 there was only one party which was called as pri it was only uh, forming the government yes children uh, we'll read out this pri as institutional revolutionary parties now opposition parties did contest elections but never managed to win but in china children there was only one com uh, communist party only one political party existed so here different opposition parties were also there so this also shows that it's a democracy but children can it be called democracy till 2000 they were also they, they uh, only one party used to form the government that was pri now opposition parties were there but they never managed to win so why it, how it is possible if politi other political parties are there why they are not been given chance for winning or oh, is there any mal practices or fraud practices let us read pri was known to use many dirty tricks to win elections yes children so this shows that they uh, if every time pri is winning it shows that they are using some dirty tricks government employees had to attend its party meetings the they means forcibly this pri the this political party uh, forced the government employees to attend their party meetings teachers of government schools used to force parents to vote for pri means if uh, students are studying in government schools the children were told that the parents have to vote only for pri media was there yes in our country also media is totally independent here media was not at all uh, independent they were largely ignoring the activities of opposition political parties except to criticize them means media only if it uh, opposition political parties version they used to speak out but only for criticizing them okay they ignored the activities of theirs they only praised the, the pri sometime the polling paths booths were shifted from one place to another yes children this is also a wrong practice which used to take place at the moment when the people used to go for uh, voting uh, casting out their votes at that time they come to know that the polling booths were shifted okay which made it difficult for the people to cast their votes so the pri spent a large sum of money in the campaign for its candidates means this also they used to do so this all with their dirty tricks they used to win so thus we have understood the case of china and mexico in china only one political party existed but uh, the uh, uh, p the candidates they did not have any choice 
means they have to get approval of chinese common people do not have a voice here in mexico opposition parties did existed but they were been uh, they were been uh, tortured or we can say with the dirty tricks pri uh, they used to win so with this two examples we uh, with the examples of china and mexico we learned in china the elections do not offer the people any serious choices and in the mexican example people seem to really have a choice but in practice they had no choice we can thus add a second feature holding elections of any kind is not sufficient the elections must offer a real choice between political alternatives and it should be possible for people to use this choice to remove the existing rulers if they wish to do so so let us learn the second feature children our second feature is a democracy must be based on a free and fair elections where those currently in power have a fair chance of losing and we have with the with those two examples we have understood children people there should be free and fair elections where people without any fear without any mal practices or dirty tricks they should be able to go for uh, voting and they should be able to uh, they should uh, the power should be in their hands that they can even if they want to if they wish to change the rulers they can do so okay so the thus, thus we have learned two features now children let us understand the third feature that in a democratic country the if all one person one vote and one value means all the citizens of the country has equal political rights no richer no poor means according to the status wise no no one has been considered everyone is equally respectable in a democratic country okay let us start with the Uh, examples given okay this principle has now come to be accepted almost all over the world yet there are many instances of denial of equal right to vote in saudi arabia women do not have the right to vote yes you know this is uh, uh, before 2017 uh, the the women of the saudi arabia they did not have the right to vote and with the long years of struggle and all women in 2017 only they got the, now it is uh, accepted over there women they have won over it the the struggles which they have made now they have got the right to vote but earlier they did not have the right to vote means only the men of the country they used to go for voting now another case estonia estonia has made its citizenship rules in such a way that people belonging to russian minority find it difficult to get the right to vote yes children estonia they, they made uh, the citizenship rules in such a way there existed minority group which were the russian minority group uh, they were not allowed to right to vote means they were finding it difficult now another case in fiji the electoral system is such that the vote of an indigenous fiji has more value than that of an indian fijian means fiji in fiji country uh, indigenous fiji means their own country people and along with that our indians were also were, uh, there but indigenous fiji's vote were of more value than that of indian fijians so with this examples we learn children so here in different countries the right to vote practice was not equally for every people but in our country india such practice is not followed means every uh, citizen in the country they get the right to vote okay with the examples taken over here uh, we uh, we are going to learn, uh, understand the third feature of our democracy is based on a fundamental principle of political equality that gives us the third feature of democracy means there is a political equality every citizens uh, they face political equality so thus we have learned the third feature children in a democracy each adult citizen must have one vote and each vote must have one value means if it is a democratic country everyone in the country they have one vote and each vote they should have equal value okay now let us start understand the fourth feature by taking the example of zimbabwe okay children zimbabwe attained independence from white minority rule in 1980 yes children before uh, uh, 1980 they were been ruled by white minority as we were also been ruled by the white people so likewise zimbabwe also was been ruled by white minority why this word minority is been used children 
yes the indigenous people of the country they were the majorities and the people those who came from outside they were less in number that is why they are called to be as minority okay so they got independence in the year 1980 since then the country has been ruled by zanu pf the party that led the freedom struggle yes children in our country also the party that led the freedom struggle which party it was the congress to so likewise here also the party which led the freedom struggle which has uh taken part in the freedom struggle which has uh, made the country uh, independent by this white minority rule was zanu pf and after 1980 the this uh, this party only uh started uh, ruling over the country and its leader robert mugabe has been ruling the country since independence now the leader of this uh, zanu pf party was robert mugabe and he was ruling the country since independence can it be called as a democratic country children if it is a democratic country the rulers they should keep on changing but here uh, is the ruler changing no he is ruling since independence elections have been held regularly and always won by zanu pf now elections were been held political parties may also be there but always this uh, uh, elections were been won by zanu pf now rob president mugabe is popular but also use unfair practices in elections now now we have come to the re real thing reality of his why he was winning children because he was using unfair practice as we have learned about mexico that there also uh, the pri was uh, winning because of the dirty tricks so here also the same way they were using mal practices over the years his government has changed the constitution several times to increase the power of the president and make him less accountable now uh, as the years were keeping on changing the government has made such rules that was making the president more powerful he was becoming more powerful as well as less accountable and do you know the meaning of accountable word children accountable means uh less accountable means less answerable means he is not answerable towards the people because Pe people cannot question them okay the uh, opposition party workers are harassed and their meetings disrupted means opposition parties also existed children but there they were been harassed and there if they are going for a meeting uh, they they were also disrupted which which cannot take place in a democratic country this only proves that it was pro totally a non democratic country okay public protests demonstrations against the government are declared illegal means be a, uh, means like in our country as it is a democratic country we can raise our voices against the government if we see uh, any wrong practices we can raise our voices we, means we can speak but here Uh, anything against the government was being declared as illegal there is a law that limits the right to criticize the president president means no one can say anything against the president television radio are controlled by the government and give only the ruling party's version yes children television and radios do existed but they were been controlled by government can it take place in a democratic country children no not at all non democratic uh, countries can only follow the such type of practices there are independent newspapers but the government harasses this journalist who goes against it means even the newspapers uh, they were been pressurized by the government the government has ignored some court judgments that went against it and has pressurized judges means even the judges were been pressurized by the government they cannot take decisions on their own but the democratic country like india the newspapers of us the media of us the judges of us they are totally independent they can uh, even if they are if any wrong practices are been performed by the government they can take decisions many instances we have seen even many of our leaders they get punished but here all the wrong practices were going on that's why zanu pf the party uh, it kept on winning so understood children so thus all the with the all wrong practices uh, president mugabe he himself was not following to the constitution he has amended the constitution several times so that he can become more powerful and less accountable towards the people so with this instance we understood that there was no say of people people cannot raise their voices so with this example we come to we understand uh, we learn towards uh, the fourth feature of our democracy
ओके हियर वी हैव इन द इन जम इन विद द एग्जांपल ऑफ जिम वावे वी अंडरस्टूड द पॉपुलर पॉपुलर अप्रूवल ऑफ द रूलर इज नेसेसरी मींस द रॉबर्ट मोगावे ही वाज वेरी पॉपुलर ओके बट इट इज नॉट सफिशिएंट पॉपुलर लीडर्स कैन बी ऑटोक्रेटिक ऑटोक्रेटिक मींस दे कैन नॉट टेक डिसीजन ऑन द मींस दे कैन दे डू नॉट कंसल्ट एनीवन दे देयर इज अ सेल्फ रूल ऑटोक्रेसी इज देयर एवरी ऑफिस बेयरर has certain rights and responsibilities assigned by the constitution and the law a democratic government cannot do whatever it likes simply because it has won an elections so thus uh, we have learned children our the our, our fourth feature of us the fourth feature of us is a democratic government rules within limits set by constitutional law and citizens right yes understood children even the demo, our government they also have to fall they also uh, have limitations they cannot exceed their limitations they have to also have to follow to the constitutional laws and citizens right is there so thus we have learned the four features of democracy children here we finish up uh, learn all these features write down the definitions okay